Open up here to slay and enter a world of cute, cuddly, and utterly destructive creatures. You'll learn to outwit your rivals and slay savage monsters, crushing your opponents on the way to victory. But don't let your guard down, because enemies are watching at every turn. Your friends will seize every opportunity to sabotage you and take the glory for themselves. Trust no one. This advice can also be applied to life in general. Welcome, and we're back for another talk about board games. As I said last time, Don's here. We're playing a lot of board games that we haven't gotten to, and this is one that Steph and I had back on Kickstarter a while ago. We haven't played it. Here to slay. It's another Rami Batty game. If you know Unstable Unicorns, it is his. He also, I think he's an artist for T-Turtle. I believe it's T-Turtle. That checks, yeah. And um, his game, we love Unstable Unicorns. It's a lot of fun. It's one of the games that we literally play with everyone we can. Never played. You will play it really soon, and uh, and then we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk. About and uh, this is one that I backed. This one is basically his take on Munchkin. Yes, it's very similar to Munchkin. It's uh, here to slay. Are you ready to slay? Here to slay is a strategic role-playing fantasy game from the creators of Unstable Unicorns. In this game, you'll assemble a full party of heroes and slay dangerous monsters while sabotaging your friends slash enemies. Brace yourself for a fast-paced, adorable, and utterly destructive adventure. And adorable is a fact. This is super cute. So if you know Unstable Unicorns, you know kind of what to expect. As far as sabotaging friends and so on, that definitely still works. So this one has different classes. Um, guardian, Bard, Thief, Druid, Fighter, um, Mage. And you would kind of expect each one is an adorable animal. Let's get these closer to the camera. You know, some... This is kind of the art to expect. Super cute. And um, these the, are all your main uh, characters you pick from. The bards are so adorable. I ended up having like eight bards. Uh, eight bard <laughs> we characters. did not shuffle. And these are all animals. Um, and basically the purpose is to win, you either need to have heroes on your, uh, six different classes represented on your side for heroes or defeat three monsters. And monsters are creatures that you have to have certain qualifications to win. Um, monsters. Yeah. So like this one right here is Corrupted Sabertooth. You need three different heroes to be able to battle. So not three heroes, you can't do it. You need to roll a dice, and if you get a plus nine, you can slay them and draw a card. If you get under a six, a six or under, you lose one of your heroes and you don't beat them. And in between, you don't get to um, do anything. So yeah, make sure I didn't miss any classes. Fighter, Bard, Guardian, Ranger, Thief, Wizard... Sorcerer, Warrior, Druid. Yeah. And so mine, I backed it on Kickstarter, so I have a few extra things that some people might not have. They do have it in a different little box um, now, and there are expansion packs for it. So if you like games like Munchkin, it plays similarly, though it's not the same. Um, and if you like that, say, Unicorns, it also plays similarly. But not the same. But but not the same. Um, art's always good. Actually, it's kind of a true statement. But I won't spoil all the game for us Um Art's good. It's art's what you expect. The cards are all pretty dang high quality. The box that I have is the the, the magnetic nice case. Nice magnetic case, which is way solid. Than I like. Um, yeah. And uh, I'll give you. I'll let you talk about this one a little more because I did not like this one as much as Unstable Unicorns, but I think it's the humor. You know, Unstable Unicorns. The better. humor is is better. Yes. But this so. Is not as humorous. I enjoyed this game. Uh, I enjoyed competitive tabletop games mostly because I like to do the little, like, oh, this person's going to win, but in actuality I'm going to win, which happens uh, probably. You should see my oldest brother when he does that. He isolated that game fully. I said, many courts are like, okay, Um, I'm going to destroy all of you right now. It was really fun. Um, I enjoyed it. The the combat, it it takes a little bit to get used to how, like, the dice rolling works, but once you get into it, it's very, very smooth. Uh, it's pretty well thought out. It does say that you can play it with two players, which I would be interested to see how that goes without a third person involved. Um, I This game also very strongly reminded me of Thunderstone Advanced, which is one of my favorite uh, tabletop games, which I'm going to try to get Jeremiah to play. We have time. Yeah, if we have time. 
Uh, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this game, but that's also, I did win. So <laughs> that might might have played a little bit into it. Um, but yeah, it's, if you like Munchkin and you like adorable art, this is definitely a good game for you. And then one thing in this one, like, the wall, like for example, all the bars are squirrels. <laughs> Um, Racist. And like all the uh, all these little heroes, you can have different abilities. Like some of them say you can draw extra cards if you roll a seven or above, and so on. One of our favorite ones is one that just says does nothing. <laughs> Napping nibbles. Um, does nothing. And it's definitely all. It's the same sort of stuff to expect. If you know his other games, it's very similar. Heck, I even have more of his games on the shelf somewhere. But Llama one he did. Oh yeah, Munchkin. Oh. And uh, we have a lot of his games because they're fun. And the humor is spot on. The art's always good. If you like Rami Batty's games, you're going to like this one. If you ne- like Munchkin, you're also going to like this. If, but don't go in thinking it is exactly like Munchkin, because it's not. Munchkin is closer to D&D than this one is. Especially D&D Munchkin. Uh, that's, that is a true statement. Um, but uh, <laughs> the, it is, but this one, you know, the art's good. It's not that expensive. It is available in stores basically everywhere. Um, all these ones have been. Um, it's a lot of fun. It moves really fast. The game took 30 minutes? Uh, 30 minutes or under. 30 minutes? Was um, it? It's not a very long game, and it's easy to be starting to do another one if you want to do more than one. And I was so close to winning, and you guys sabotaged me that first time. Yes. With the wizard. That's our goal. Steph was ready. She, They pounced. And then I removed your class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's, 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 I think more than two players are, would be better. Because it would add more chaos to it, which is fun. Yes. Um, probably more than merrier. If you have, you know, six, I can see that being utter chaos. Yeah, two to six. Two to six. So six, I can see being total chaos, which would be fun. Better for this one. Yes. Definitely okay. better. Um, two, we'll try it with two. I, I, as you're right, I think that would be interesting. It'll be interesting. We'll give it a shot. Um, we might make a commented appendix to this. I don't even think video. I've played Unstable Unicorn or two. I've always played out with three more but uh it, it it flows well it does well and i don't think you're going to hate it if you want to play that one um as far as kids go i probably wouldn't recommend it for the youngest ones just because the strategy they wouldn't get yeah it says 10 and up but i feel like if we had played with bruce he would have gotten upset yeah because there's you know like there's a lot of luck with rolls there's a lot of luck with you know the fact that you're stealing their stuff so if you're attached to things you're gonna you're gonna get annoyed and um, jared can't roll Unfortunately, um, and there are a lot of little cute little pieces like the die, like the where you put the dice when you roll is like oh, a like you build a little, little castle tower thing, yeah. <laughs> which is fun. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not co-op. It's definitely very competitive, and yes. probably the more competitive you are, the better it will be. Yeah, probably. Agree with that one. And no uh, stuff. I don't know what the expansions have. I know they exist. Um, actually, I'm gonna look them up. Yeah. Here to slay expansions. Yeah, that's how you spell expansions. Here to slay. Unstable games. Okay, so. So that's the base. Yep. Yep. Electronic. There has to be. Oh, hey there. Expansion. So. Looks like there's three expansions? So it looks like one of the expansions is Here to Slay, which is a Christmas themed one. Nice. Slay as in S L E I G H. There's Berserkers and Necromancers, which I'm pretty sure it adds two classes to it, which means yep. they add eight heroes for each one and two main characters. Warriors and Druids, which um, <coughs> probably the expand the the one I got came with one druid mm-hmm. and one warrior because it was Kickstarter, so this will add more to that one. There are only what 12, 15, 12, and twelve. Yep. So yeah, they're not so bad. Not, not expensive. And the, and the base, base game is 20. twenty. Or you can bundle them with expansions for thirty five, forty bucks. Yeah, you can get everything except for the Christmas one for thirty five twenty. So it looks like the Christmas one's bigger than most. Yes. Let's... That one's also the fifteen dollar one. Uh... Yeah. So it says Christmas one, um, dashing through the snow is expanded here and here to slay. The festive here to slay expansion pack can find new card types, fun holiday artwork, brand new win conditions, complete objectives, and gather gift cards in your quest to win the game. Include 20 standard size cards, 22 gift cards, four holiday overlay cards, four checklist it's cards, 10. Big. So this one basically switches up the game how you play it, while the other uh, ones just literally expand the game. Interesting. So it's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, not 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 that expensive. 
Sure. Though you will not have the most likely have the magnetic box and some of the higher quality stuff because that's just for Kickstarter. But twenty bucks, you can't really go wrong with it, and I think you're gonna have a lot of fun. Yep, definitely. Kyle, I recommend you buy this now. Now. Uh, and with that, okay, thanks. Bye.